Hey everybody, welcome to eTrailer.com. I'm Bobby and today we're taking a look at the eTrailer J-Style Kayak Carrier here on our 2021 Ford Bronco Sport. So this is going to be a very decent way of just getting that single line kayak to wherever you guys want to go. As you guys can see, it does an excellent job of securing your kayak here just to go ahead and get it there safely. We do have some very nice bow and stern straps. I'm a big fan of these as you guys are going to see later. They start giving you a lot of distinct advantages over the common place holders like a S-style metal hook, you know, that kind of thing, which is great. Really, really like these straps too. Uh, the fabric on it feels good. It's going to be holding up quite well for us. And as you guys can see, we just have these little nylon holders. Now they're just a little thing, but they go a long way of securing those. That way you're not having to bring an extra ponytail every time you guys want to go out. And I really, really like this cover that we have on our cam buckle. That does a great job of covering that metal. So if for some reason, our strap does kind of come off when we are doing our dismount while we're setting up, um, or we just have it in contact here, like you can see on the other side with our kayak, we're not going to be rubbing up damage anything which is excellent you are gonna have a hundred and fifty pound capacity on here which is excellent so I think we're gonna be okay with almost any kayak we want to throw in here the one caveat I'll say to that weight capacity though let's make sure we are checking a the rest of our accessories that we're throwing on here so we're not exceeding our weight and talking about that weight we want to be sure we are checking our roof rack capability and of course our roof capability inside our vehicles owners manual guide so definitely check that before you guys start loading everything up one thing I really like about this being on our Ford Bronco Sport, what's really cool, we actually do have this access to our glass here. So we could just loosen that up a little bit, get it to the side, get all our quick access items that we want, and then we'd even just cinch this down one more time. We don't have to take everything apart. So that's really cool too. I mean, you can do that maneuver as well and just open the back hatch, which we're gonna do here in just a second. We just have a nice little cam buckle system, again, holding this in. Again, I really like this felt because I'm not too worried about this just swinging right here. It's gonna be protected, of course. I wouldn't throw it into the vehicle, but that allows me to go ahead, open up this hatch. Now I can get those car, my coolers out, anything else I might need. Give me a nice little spot to go ahead and change or just get that access. And what I really like about this, we are gonna get this item here. It's commonly referred to as a dog bone. This becomes really easy to throw this foam anchor inside anywhere, anywhere inside your vehicle. Lay it right there bring your hatch down, it'll give you that temporary mounting point. So really, really like that. We're not gonna be stuck to just our mounts that we have on the inside. Now, lucky for us, the Ford Bronco Sport does have those tie down points, which is excellent for our overlanding adventures, but really nice that we don't get stuck to having to use those. Now that we have our bow and stern strap removed, we can go ahead and start taking a look here at our main straps that are holding us in. So we've kind of already gone over them. Of course, we do have that nice little nylon holder keeping our extra strap in place, which is really nice. You guys can see how much extra we usually have. Um, but overall, the fabric is really nice. It's gonna be holding up well for the years to come, which is great. Getting a lot of uses out of it. Now I will say, you guys can already see this felt getting a little bound up in here. And really all that is, is people not really watching this felt and just kind of opening it up. One thing you can do, shift this away. That way when you're actually utilizing this teeth, you're not doing what people have done here, start biting these corners, right? And really tearing it up. So shift that felt up, that way it stays in good working order. And then we can just simply press on that lever, open up our strap here. And let's take note of how we have it ran, right? So this is one strap ran onto itself. So we have our top, it's our cam buckle going across our kayak. And this one we just have sent through the bottom here of our carrier around our roof rack and underneath it, because we really want all that strain being on our strongest element, right? Which is gonna be that roof rack we have nice and secure there but we have both of our straps going around our kayak pushing this into the carrier and you guys can see it's right there at the top of that bar makes it really easy just to take your cam buckle pull this strap through and then you're nice and released of course let's uh, let's repeat that process on our other carrier and let's start unloading it now that we have all of our straps removed, we can go ahead and start taking this kayak off. You guys can see you have a little bit of a well where your kayak leaves an open space. What I like to do, push that inside there. That's gonna allow this to start rotating. And as it does, catch the side here. That way you can assist it, make sure it's not gonna be flipping out. But all the weight is still really on my carrier. I'm just simply keeping it from rotating, shifting that weight towards me. And that's gonna allow me to get set get underneath here and start taking this off. Of course, we can use our little foam pads to get us towards the end here and start assisting that dismount. We simply need to lift it and take it off. With our kayak off, we can start taking a closer look here at our carrier. So it's gonna be made of a lightweight aluminum, which is excellent, because we're gonna be resisting that corrosion that a lot of uh, we're gonna be having experiencing with our wet kayaks being thrown on here. We do have some nice marine grade foam up at the top. Really like this guy. It is very nice and soft. Gonna do a great job of protecting our kayak against the aluminum on the underneath. That way we don't have any kind of issues or dings to our fiberglass or whatever we might be utilizing inside our kayak's composition. And at the top here too, again, that marine grade foam doing a great job 
making sure we're not having any issues there, which is great. You do have this little springy board here in the middle. Now I will say a lot of the times your kayak just ends up resting right here. So uh, it is pretty thick padding on the end, which is great but it is still just a little hard because it is right there on that aluminum. Uh, now, this middle portion can act as a kinetic absorber, but it really doesn't do too much, I will have to say, as most of the time, your kayak is kind of sitting there right on the side. So, a couple things we are looking at though, how easy is this to move? Well, as you guys can see, all we have to do, bring these levers towards ourselves. That can let me open this all the way down or close it, which can be great, really easy to get that in line as well. You just simply wanna walk it up, close those teeth, get them in position, for some reason, if you guys are having trouble getting them to fit all the way, really, really easy to go ahead, start tightening up those nuts, and that way they'll stay nice and in line for ourselves. So, a couple things we're gonna look at here though. How much height are we adding to our vehicle? So, at most, we're gonna bring this to the vertical position. A lot of times you're never gonna be here. You are gonna be a little lean back, getting that angle for your kayaks, but this way we can go ahead and get that max height. Now, the thing that's gonna be dependent upon this though is your guys' own roof rack at home. So, I'm just gonna give you guys from the top of our roof rack here today to the top of our carrier. So you can start adding this to your guys' roof rack at home. So from our roof rack here today to the top of our carrier, that's gonna be putting us right at 18 inches to the very top there. If I can get it to stop breaking where I want it to. Right there at the top, just to go ahead and get us that clean break. As you guys can see, actually right underneath 18 inches. So about 17 and 15 sixteenths of an inch, or sorry, 17, 15 sixteenths of an inch, which definitely isn't too bad. And we can quickly shorten that down. Again, we're gonna bring ourselves right back to those levers quickly opening them up, bringing us down, close up those teeth, get it nice and in line. And the big thing we're looking at here is gonna be our jut here at the very end. So from our roof rack to there, sorry guys, that's gonna put you right under four and a half inches. So not quite there, definitely not gonna be adding too much room, which is excellent. Now we can go ahead and pull through the garages, those drive-throughs, anything else that might need that low clearance. So how's it mounted on here? Well, as you guys can see, we just have our simple little flange system. We just have these two little knobs. All we have to do, back those guys off, lefty loosey, righty tidy, of course, and cinch up this flange against our crossbar. Now, the one thing I'll say to it, if you have very thick crossbars, like maybe the Acme HD bars or something like that, something, uh, you may need longer bolts. The reason being, um, just sometimes it pushes it too far. You don't quite have the clearance. As you guys can see on our aero bars today, definitely having no trouble, which is great. And I will say that the thread on these guys, on our knobs, is not the great. So you're gonna need a lot of exposure of thread to kind of get through this whole well, because our nut actually kind of sits on the inside. So kind of keep that in mind. It can be a little hard to get those guys on sometimes if you have really thick crossbars. But again, a simple fix to that, just give yourself a longer bolt to run through. Now, one thing that's great about that on the Ford Bronco Sport, we have a ton of clearance with at least our Yakima bars here. So depending on roof rack, if you're really, really low here, that might be something to kind of watch out for. And if that's an issue, you could look at something like the Yakima J-Lo, J-Style Kayak Carrier, as it kind of side clamps and doesn't go underneath your crossbars. And with that as well, kind of brings up another issue that I have with the e-trailer kayak carrier. There's no really good way to secure this. Really what you're gonna end up doing, if you're worried about theft, worried about somebody walking off with it, you're gonna have to take this off every time and then store it inside your vehicle, which kind of defeats the whole point of the J-Style kayak carrier. Now, obviously, when you're in transit, nobody's gonna move with them, so it's nice we can drop those down. But in my opinion, if you're really worried about somebody taking off your J-Style kayak carrier, look at that Yakima J-Lo and start looking at getting some locking cores to go ahead and secure it on your roof. Overall, guys, I think the e-trailer kayak carrier can be a decent way of just getting your kayak to your destination. You really can't beat that 150 pounds of weight capacity. Uh, the one thing I'll say to that, though, um, keep check in your roof rack. Like I said, that's a lot of weight. If you are putting a very high kayak on here, just let's make sure we are watching our weight accessories, checking our vehicle's owner's manual guide and our roof rack capacity for the weight that we can throw on it. And again, my only thing with it, I think the security measure kind of stinks. I see a lot of people having to take it off all the time. And again, if that's an issue, we just like start looking at that Yakima J-Lo. It is a little bit pricier, but I think it's worth it if you're worried about that theft action. So otherwise though, still a really decent way just to get your kayak to your destination. That way we can start enjoying the water. Otherwise guys, I think that about does it for our look here today at the E-Trailer J-Style Kayak Carrier on our 2021 Ford Bronco Sport. I'm Bobby, thank you for watching.